our signature top worn to your personality. Of course, loose is nice, but due to the side slits, we can do a lot of different things, including pulling it up slightly in the back so that you could tie just below the belly. Just a little knot to add a little more fitted look. Cute and sassy, but if you would like, you can turn it around and put the tie in the back. Turn around backwards and then do that actually. But then you have it slimmer in the front with a little bit of detailing in the back. This is for a more fitted look with the signature top in the solids or as I'm wearing in the micro dot print. Now if that does not suit your style, we can do another signature look. I'm going to untie this. Actually, I think I'll just turn it around. Love the sleeve so I can do just this. Makes it easier for the customers also if they don't have someone to tie them in the back. So I will untie. All right, there we are. Loose again. So if we want to create a diagonal elongated on one side, to also make it a little more fitted. I'm going to take a knot and tie it in the front. Just grabbing the fabric and twisting. Pulling it in where my index finger is. Pulling it through. And now we've got a complete different shape top. Just completely changes the look. Next, I'm going to flatten it out. I'm going to take the JR scarf. The JR scarf can act also as a belt. So what's wrong with taking a little bit of belt and blasting it and making your top more fitted? Don't want to see the belt all across the back? Blouse it and make it even shorter for a little blues on. But of course, my favorite tried and true way just to add the v-neck illusion which is flattering at the neckline and lengthens and leans. So those are just a few of several tips on our signature top.